r slash rules horror posted by you slash absurd kippy hope hill wildlife ranger rules 3 the chooseth hello again park ranger callum we have received the report of your daily duties at the kippy hope hill watchtower and are thoroughly impressed with your commitment to your duties as you are aware kippy hope hill park is home to many creatures and spirits both friendly and dangerous as a park ranger your safety and well-being are our top priority we implore you to follow the instructions carefully and to familiarize yourself with the rules of duty and escape before embarking on your mission. Good luck, Ranger. Remember, your safety and well-being are of top importance to us. Duty, Pacify the Chusith. Area, usually found in remote and wild areas such as forests, moors, and mountains. Our Chusith is found in the western Alden forest of the park. Area Description Alden is a unique and diverse ecosystem that provides a habitat for a wide range of flora and fauna. The forest is comprised of a mix of deciduous and coniferous trees, including oak, birch, pine, and spruce. It is also home to local wildlife such as kelpies and fairies so keep a watchful eye on the surroundings. Wildlife Description The Chusith is a large, otherworldly dog with shaggy black-green fur and piercing yellow eyes. It is said to roam the countryside at night hunting down its prey with its incredible speed and strength. Despite its captivating appearance, the Chu Sith is not to be underestimated. This creature is considered one of the most dangerous spirits in Kippy Hope Hill Park and it is said that encountering it is a sure sign of impending doom. Its terrifying howl is a surefire way to tell that it is near so always be alert and aware. The reason we are sending you to pacify the Chu Sith is that it has been bringing about the untimely death of multiple locals unlucky enough to encounter it whilst wandering at night and must be pacified for the safety of all who enter the park. But be warned, one false move could mean your downfall. The mere sound of its howl is enough to send shivers down the spine, so stay alert and always be listening. Rules for Shift Duty One before leaving for the Chu Sith you need to take these items provided for you from the Kippy Hope Ranger Watchtower. The bottle of aromatic herbs, lavender, rosemary, and sage. The music box provided for you. The whistle and walking cane. The provided cow femur bone. The 35 watt flashlight. 1. When you arrive, approach carefully. When approaching the Chu Sith, make sure to move slowly and quietly. Keep your eyes on the creature and be prepared for it to attack at any moment. Set down the femur bone you brought and back off very slowly. You may also notice a multitude of various frozen human and animal corpses leaning against the trees in multiple stages of decomposition. To introduce yourself, the Chu Sith is very much influenced by respect. Try to show the Chu Sith that you come in peace. This can be done by making peaceful gestures such as holding out your hands or speaking in a soft voice. State that you come in peace and wait to see if it reciprocates the gesture by nodding. If not, refer to the rules for escape. 3. At this point, you may calmly converse with the beast in a soft tone. Try not to mention the frozen bodies as it offends the Chusith. Also, refrain from talking about magic, wands or wizards as they remind the Chusith of the powerful druids of the past who are said to be able to control and banish the Chusith with their magic. Other than that, feel free to converse in polite conversation with it. For when you are finished talking with it, which should not last longer than 15 minutes, present the bottle of herbs and the music box as a gift. The Chu Sith has been noted to be a fan of soft classical music and aromatic scents. 5. You may have thought you've made friends with it but you still have many opportunities to end up as an icy statue. Back away very carefully when the interaction comes to an end. Return to your off-road ranger's vehicle and drive away but do not turn on your headlights, the Chu Sith is sensitive to bright lights. Rules for Escape 1. If you are referring to this section, you have managed to offend the Chu Sith. Although the Chu Sith will begin to growl, do not run. The Chu Sith is much faster and bigger than you so will catch you with ease. To immediately take these steps, shine the torch into its face, blow the whistle hard and throw your walking cane at it. Hopefully, it will be distracted enough not to turn you into a chew toy. 3. At this point, you will have noticed that the frozen corpses have begun to move. These are now thrall-like beings that will do the Chu Sith's bidding. 4. Sprint to your vehicle and make sure all the windows are closed. Start to drive and constantly check your rear mirror where you will see multiple thralls chasing you which you will want to deal with as they are strong enough to flip your car. If they catch you, they will bring you to the Chu Sith to turn you into one of them. You may think this is a quick fate but previous rangers have reported hearing human thralls trying to ask for help, suggesting they are still conscious. 5. Your only hope now is to escape Alden Forest as upon reaching the limits of the forest, 
the thralls will be more than eager to return to their enslaver. Though, once fully out of the forest, check your vehicle for thralls of small birds or animals as they can be hard to spot and lead to a nighttime visit by the Chusith who will howl to indicate that you are to die soon. Being a park ranger at Kippy Hope Hill requires great caution and careful attention to the instructions provided. The Chusith is one of the most dangerous creatures in the park and requires a delicate approach when pacifying it. Always make sure to bring the provided items and follow the steps carefully to avoid offending the Chusith. If the Chusith is offended, escape is possible by following the specified escape steps. The safety and well-being of the park ranger are of utmost importance, and we implore you to always stay alert and aware while on duty. There have been previous encounters with the creature. A couple of years ago a group of locals were out on a hike and they heard the terrifying howl of the Chusith. Despite their fear, they continued, only to come face to face with the monster. The locals were no match for the Chusith's strength and speed and many of them fell victim to its deadly attacks. To this day, the encounter between the locals and the Chusith serves as a cautionary tale and a reminder of the importance of respecting and being cautious of the powerful spirits that roam the park. We, nonetheless thank you for your dedication to preserving the park the safety of all who enter and your bravery in the face of the duties given. Yours sincerely, Park Director Boyd from the Kippy Hope Hill Wildlife Ranger Corps. Next part of this story. Kippy Hope Hill Wildlife Ranger Rules 4, Sean Solger. Greetings once again, Park Ranger Callum. We're thrilled to have you on the team as a qualified individual for this vital role. Your fourth shift is starting soon and we wanted to make sure you have the necessary information to perform your duties with confidence. Due to the dangerous nature of the wildlife of Kippy Hope Hill, we have again provided you with another set of rules for successfully completing your important duty. If you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to reach out to headquarters. Best of luck on your assignment as a wildlife ranger in Narladen Forest. Duty, visit Sean Solger. Area, just off of South Kippy Way, by Langlock in Narladen Forest. Area description, a decrepit wooden hovel with its roof sagging and its walls covered in moss. A thick mist often rises from the lake which may obscure vision. The trees surrounding the hovel are tall and twisted, their branches reach out similar to gnarled fingers. As a wildlife park ranger, it is important to be aware that this area is known to be inhabited by creatures and spirits from Scottish folklore, including fairies, kelpies, and will-o'-the-wisps. It is advised to approach with caution and respect for these beings, as they can be mischievous or even malevolent. Wildlife Description Sean Solger is a humanoid creature with physical traits similar to that of a human, but with notable differences that make him easily distinguishable from a typical human. He has a muscular build, standing at a short height of 5 feet with broad shoulders and a sturdy stature. Their skin is tough and leathery, with a dark green hue that blends in with the surrounding forest. He has a distinct, elongated face with sharp cheekbones, a narrow nose, and large, piercing eyes that are a bright yellow color. Their hair is long and wild, with a greenish-black color and their hands are large and powerful, with long fingers tipped with razor-sharp claws. He is known to have a heightened sense of awareness and is quick to defend their territory and himself. However, if approached with caution and respect, he can be quite gentle and even befriend those who show him kindness. Rules for Visiting 1. Before visiting Sean, check to make sure you bring these items provided for you at the watchtower. Thin iron necklace and dagger. The bag of mixed sage and salt. The shiny new set of wind chimes. The new version of the little book of incantations for rangers. First aid kit. Blue bells. 1. Familiarize yourself with the area. Make sure you understand the location of Sean Solger's hovel and the surrounding forest, including Langlock and South Kippy Way. 2. As you approach the hovel, be aware of your surroundings and the presence of other creatures and spirits from Scottish folklore. Move slowly and quietly, and be respectful of the environment and the beings that live there lest Sean have an early first impression of you. 3. Once you have arrived at the hovel, introduce yourself and explain the reason for your visit. Speak in a calm and respectful tone, and maintain eye contact. Show kindness and empathy, and be patient as Sean Solger will be initially wary of you. 4. Bring up topics such as the local flora and Sean's role in the ecosystem. Avoid talking about the Chusith as the two have a bitter rivalry. Take the time to get to know Sean Solger and understand their unique needs and concerns. Offer assistance or support where you can and be open to learning about their way of life here in Narladen Forest. 5. If Sean Solger expresses discomfort or asks you to leave, respect their wishes and depart the area calmly and respectfully. Not complying with his wishes will result in you having to follow the rules for escape. 6. Before leaving, ensure that you have left the area in the same condition as you found it. 
Do not disturb the wildlife or the environment, and take all of your belongings with you. The trees may not be as inanimate as they appear. 7. After your visit, make sure to report your observations and experiences to your superiors, as they will be important for understanding and managing the wildlife in the area. Oh dear! It appears you may have offended or disrespected Sean. Here are the rules for escape. 1. If negotiation is not possible, retreat slowly and calmly. Avoid making any sudden movements, and do not turn your back on Sean Solger. Keep your hands visible and open, and do not make any threatening gestures. To utilize the environment to your advantage. Use the mist from Langlock to obscure your vision, and take advantage of the tall, twisted trees to hide from Sean Solger. 3. Be aware of Sean Solger's powers. Sean Solger has the power to control the mist and manipulate the trees in the surrounding forest. Be aware of these abilities and use them to your advantage, if possible. You may have seen the old ranger car wreck on your way, this was not an accidental crash. 4. Use the thin iron necklace and dagger in combination as a protective shield. Iron is known to repel spirits and other supernatural creatures, so wearing the necklace and having the dagger at the ready can help to keep you safe. If necessary, use the mixed sage and salt as a barrier. Sprinkle the mixture around yourself to create a protective circle, which can help to prevent Sean Solger from reaching you. 5. If all else fails, ring the wind chimes. The sound of the chimes is believed to have a soothing effect on spirits and Sean Solger even more so. 6. If Sean Solger continues to pursue you, recite the incantation from the Little Book of Incantations for Rangers. This book contains a range of spells and incantations that have been used by rangers for decades to protect themselves. 7. Make sure to bring the first aid kit with you, as you may need to tend to any injuries you sustain during your escape. 8. Finally, gather as many bluebells as you can find and use them to mark your path. Bluebells are associated with safety and protection and are believed to help guide you to safety. Escape from Sean Solger is not guaranteed, so it's crucial to approach the area with caution and respect and to be prepared for any situation that may arise. Remember, Sean Solger is a powerful and unpredictable creature, and should not be underestimated. That should be it for Sean Solger, we hope you will approach with caution and respect for this creature and the other beings of Scottish folklore in our leaden forest. The role of a Kippy Hope Hill Wildlife Ranger comes with great responsibility. The rules provided will ensure that you carry out your duty correctly and safely. These rules should be followed strictly to ensure your safety and to avoid endangering the local community. The locals of Kippy Hope Hill are aware of the presence of the creatures in our Leden Forest, including Sean Solger, and the potential dangers they can pose. Despite this, some may still disregard the warnings and rules set in place by the wildlife rangers, putting themselves in harm's way. There have been instances where locals, who are unaware of Sean Solger's presence, have encountered him and experienced the consequences of their actions. One such incident took place when a group of loggers were clearing the forest for a new logging road. As they worked, they came across Sean Solger's territory, not realizing that they were encroaching on his space. They continued with their work, disregarding the presence of the creature. However, Sean Solger was quick to defend his territory and, in a fit of rage, attacked the loggers injuring several of them. The incident serves as a stark reminder of the importance of respecting the wildlife in the area and being aware of their presence. We are sure that you will follow these guidelines as you have proven to be a brave, committed and hard-working employee and park ranger. We wish you a successful shift and a rewarding experience as a Kippy Hope Hill Wildlife Ranger. Good luck!